Nate. Hello, everybody. Delicious Sunny D is in my tummy, and I'm Nate. On the last installment, uh, we were learned about the capping. We were learned. We were taught about the capping ceremony, and the uh, two girlfriends are keep texting us. So here we go. Oh, it's from Sakuya. Sakuya, tell your young sister to block Itsuki's texts. I look up at the ceiling where their room is. They seem to be having fun. Okay, that's good. Come on, it's from Itsuki again. Say goodnight to Prima for me. Prima, what's that? <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Uh, maybe she made a mistake. Miss Fancy Glasses, I foom. I fume? Whatever. Into bed we go. Hey, we're at the hospital the next morning. Look at me go, I'm so happy. We've arrived, this is the place. Narrowing my eyes in the summer sunlight, I look up at the impressive building. There it is, we're all in our normal clothes. We had met up uh, with Miss Sakuya and Miss Itsuki in front of the dorm. Machi and Michi we had met up with at the Saseki Yuro Yurigoaka station where we had taken the train to the next town. We had arrived at the general hospital that will be the stage for our hospital training. It's big. Shiri, uh, Shir Iogahama General Hospital. This is it. I feel a little nervous. The sweat on my forehead isn't just from the heat. <sighs> Let's go. We need to go to the nurse station and introduce ourselves. Whoosh. Appearing to be her usual self, Miss Sakuya begins to walk towards the building. Oh, she's so sturdy and reliable. I secretly stare uh, or start a conversation with Miss Itsuki. Sorry. There we are. Last night, Miss Sakuya was, wait, was really Miss Sakuya really not able to sleep. Yeah, she was probably excited until really late. She was. Oh man! Oh, she's back. Be quiet, Itsuki. Were you two able to sleep properly? Yes, we got sleep. We got to sleep at eight. That's way too early to be going to bed. That's a little too early. Yeah, I guess you can never get too much sleep though. The chamomile tea after dinner seemed to have worked well. Thanks to it, I slept like a baby. Miss Sakuya lets out a sigh, and Machi and Michi giggle. Tee hee hee hee. Our nervous tension seems to have dissipated a little. All right, let's go. Here comes the hospital debut. Look at me go. I'm, I'm gonna climb your wall with suction cups. Look at me go. From the way you say it, it's hard to tell whether that's a positive thing or not. Now let's out a small laugh. Tee. Very true. I laugh a little as well. Gee. And then we go in there. What if a little girl started laughing like that? That'd be so funny. It's like, you tell a little girl a joke, she's like, Gee. All right. All right. Good morning, Taito Nursing Academy students. The first person to greet us is the chief nurse. She's a sturdy built lady. Oh, I gave her a good voice then. She seems friendly and I let out a sigh of relief. Nice to meet you. We stand with our backs to the wall while the chief addresses the nurses. As you know, uh, today six trainees will be joining us. Not only as seeing as in nursing, but uh, seeing as in life. Uh, please uh, tell, uh, teach them all you can, okay? Whatever, I don't care. Give me my smoke. Uh, these students will develop by watching you example. Uh, so please do not forget that. Chief, I don't know if I can handle this responsibility. No fooling about. Don't do that. That's stupid. Get out of here. I'm going to slap you. After the training finishes, wait, after the training finishes, uh, the hope that you will have inspired the trainees to say, I want to become a wonderful nurse like her. Okay? Yeah, that's what you should do. Okay, when I was a nursing student, the nurses at the hospital, I trained and instructed me gently. Yes, finally. Okay? Yes, that's what it was. The chief started on another of her long stories again. You'll bore the trainees if you go on. The nurses left. Tee hee. I'm a little surprised at how warm the atmosphere is. However, I am. You're right. Well then, nice ship. Status reports. That's a fun voice to do. It hurts my throat, though. Status reports. I haven't done enough whiskey to do that voice. Yes. No emergency hospital admissions. Available beds remain unchanged at four. The nurses who were on the night shift last night make their reports. The warm atmosphere of the nurse station uh, tenses almost immediately. Miss Tori Toyama, in room 302, called for the nurse at 1900. She complained of chills and could be shivering, so her temperature was taken at 38.8 degrees. A seat of medicine was prescribed to her. Her temperature was taken again at 2200. It was 37 degrees, and she had sweated profusely, so we administered a change of garments. 
At 2 in the morning, her fever had returned to at a 93.2 degrees. A second dose of acetaminophen was administered. BP, 98 over 62. Saturation, 97. After making a report to the doctor today, request for a medical consult consultation. Understood. Next. The chief briskly controls the flow of action. Reports are made one after the other. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid from room 701. I love Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. I need, I really need to watch that. That's also an incredibly gay anime, but it's so good. It is requesting uh, the examination by the gynecologist. Oh no! She and she is sh uh, showing signs of coagulation. Please make the appointment as soon as possible. Oh great, her lady garden isn't feeling too good. Also, uh, a possible ARF patient will be moved to the ICU to our ward. Please have vitals checked regularly. That is all. The patients are in your hands. The nurses on duty for the day shift respond in unison. I can't help but be swept up in all of it. There I am. Understood! I lower my head and mumble quietly to myself. I see. Uh, I'm scared, sis. I could hardly understand any of it. What about you now? Hmm? Mm, just a little, but mostly not at all. We didn't understand anything either. I can understand why Miss O'Hara told us not to do anything. Yeah, even if we wanted to, to we couldn't really. Uh, the best we can do is watch and observe. Observe and perfect. But it's fun! Besides, I've never been inside a nurse station before, but I've been inside of a nurse if you know what I'm talking about. Ms. Itsuki observes our surroundings. The brisk attitude that the chief had while listening to the status reports changes into a bright expression like, me. All right then. Morning medical examinations will start now, maybe, so train these police uh, separately. Uh, a company of doesn't end this is okay to just do it get out of my sight fuck you it finally begins you'll be paying business to our patients um if they talk to you smile and respond to them do whatever I don't care that's your job for today okay okay yes ma'am bye and so wait oh man she uh she on nogi all right um nice to meet you um a new girl. I'm Atsuka Osashi. I look forward to working with you today. My name is Mayuma Sh Shionji. Wait. Wait, Shionji is like, uh, what's Hyoko Shionji? So, or is it pronounced slightly different like Shionji? Uh, Shionogi? Whatever. I'm still in my second year, so I'm not that different than all of you. Hmm? Oh, wait. Yes, I'm a graduate of Taito Nursing Academy. This challenge gives me a friendly laugh, and I feel relieved having been prepared with someone so nice. I'm now Osashi. Nice to meet you. I'm Sakuya Takeda. I look forward to learning from you today. Best girl, go! It's Suki Yamato! I'm looking forward to this! I just like adding random smooches at the end of her sentences! In this matter, everyone greets the nurses that they've been paired with. Mizutsuki's designated nurse seems exceptionally happy. I can almost see the heart signs in her eyes. Miss Sayanji laughs sardonically. She's a sucker for good looks. I hope she can play the part for instructor. Okay. Yeah, she is the best. Itsuki. Yeah. I know, I know. I'll take my training seriously. And I won't cheat on you. Smooch. Grope. Other things. I can't think of a third thing right now. Stop being silly. Miss Sakuya looks worried. Oh, Miss Itsuki's designated nurse looks disappointed. Whatever. Sis, do your best. Now calls out, waving her hands as she leaves the nurse's station. Okay, bye. You two now, peace. I wave back at her. Goodbye. Get out of here, you idiot. All oh, those beds look terrible. Then I follow Miss Sayanji, and we go to one hospital room to the next. Good morning. Did you sleep well last night? When we had talked uh, at the nurse's station, perhaps it had been the fact that I heard that she was a graduate of Taito Nursing Academy. But she had seemed more like a school senior than a nurse that was instructing me. However, now that we're moving from hospital room, when she greets the patients, she's suddenly transformed into every bit the nurse. She's different from Miss O'Hara, but there's no denying that she's a professional nurse. Miss Usashi, introduce yourself. Okay. Oh, yes, my name is Asuka Osashi. I'm a nursing student here for training. N nice to meet you. Oh, an aspiring nursing student. Good luck. The patient middle is a middle-aged lady, says this with a smile. That is all she does, but it takes me. It makes me incredibly happy. Bleh. Well, thank you. I'm going to graduate. I'm going to have honors, and I'm going to fuck Miss Itsuki. The hospital room that Miss Shino, Shino Nino Nino oversees seems to have mostly been elderly patients. I greet them and I give them, a, my, and they give me words of encouragement. This cycle continues. 
Okay. More beds. I had thought there might be some unfriendly people, but everyone is surprisingly nice. That's good. Oh, another room. One of these rooms has to change. Asuka, is it? I was eating some pickles that, that someone brought me. Do you want some? Ooh, thank you. Yay! No, Mizutsashi not during work. Oh, I'm sorry. I want pickles. Huh? Why not? Come on. Just a little. Um, no, Miss Saku, not while she's under my watch. Being able to decline such offers is part of the job. No pickles for you. I see, I'll keep that in mind. My resistance in re to receiving food is too low. I am both amazed and a little exasperated with myself. Whoosh. I need to whoosh more often. I want pickles. Going through the number of hospital rooms, I begin to suspect I have some sort of hungry expression on my face as offers of fruits and sweets are showered down on me. I'm hungry. Can I just accept all those offers later? Assisted by Miss Sayanji, I managed to go, uh, turn them down in such a manner. We come to yet another hospital room. Well, about this hospital room. And the tone of her voice is different from what I had heard before. There is just one young girl in this room. Oh no! Okay, she's still 17 years old, but she has a complicated illness, and she's been hospitalized for years. No, oh, no! I see. Her name is Yuki Seria. Sometimes she can be a bit difficult to handle, but last month, the operation she underwent was successful, and she's been doing well since. Okay, good. Miss Yuki Seria. It seems her health has been good recently, so she's been behaving herself. Understood. I swallow nervously. 17 years old, only two years younger than me, and she's been in the hospital for years. I wonder how that must feel. I can't even begin to imagine. Dragons. There are many patients like her. Be careful not to let your emotions get the better of you. Understood. I near the hospital room where Miss Yuki Seria is. Can I actually see her? Hmm. Oh, there she is. The back of her head, at least. Good morning, Miss Sayanji. Oh, there's Miss Sayanji, at least. I glance at her. Immediately, she gives off the impression of snow, clear and soft. Perhaps because she stays in the hospital room and doesn't go out, her skin is astonishingly white. She has a dainty frame a gentle and gentle features. She seems delicate, almost to the point that if I were to touch her, she would melt. Okay, so I can't make out with her. She's pretty, but not obvious beauty like Miss Sakuya or Miss Itsuki. How can I put it? Uh, oh, that's it. Uncharacteristically, I think of the perfect word. Miss Saria is uh, ephemeral. Um, good morning, Yuki. How are you feeling? Miss Sayanji? Who is she? Oh, no, no, nice to meet you. I, my name is Suko Sashi. I'm here in training. I'm a first-year nursing student. Oh, at Taito Nursing Academy? Nice to meet you. I'm Yuki Saria. She smiles softly and casually greets me. Miss Sayanji, I feel good today. Please tell the doctor that. I will. If he gives his permission, maybe we, maybe we can uh, take a walk in the gardens this evening. Really? I'm looking forward to it. Miss Saria may be ephemeral, but perhaps because she's feeling well, she doesn't seem particularly troubled. She is cooperative towards the medical examinations and seems uh, an extremely well-mannered girl. Everything finishes swiftly with experienced speed, and the whole time I stand by the bed and merely watch. Prompted by Miss Sayonji's attempt, I leave the room when Miss Saria speaks. Miss Sanji, can you leave her here? Huh? Me? I can't, Miss Osashi is in the middle of her training. We still have other rooms. Just for a little while, I don't have many opportunities to talk to girls my age, please. Saying this, she looks at me and smiles. I, I don't mind. Oh, uh, but I look at Miss Sayanji. I had thought she would say no, but Miss Sayanji contemplates this for a while. And then she mur mutters, why not, to herself. Just ten minutes, okay, and I'm making an exception. I'll go check on other hospital rooms during that time. An unexpected turn of events. Um, Miss Osashi, you can stay and talk with Yuki for a while. In exchange, Yuki, I want you to do your best to eat all your food today, okay? Okay, thank you, Miss Sayanji. All right, ten minutes then. Peace. And there she goes. Miss Sayanji leaves me behind in this hospital room. I don't know what to do at times like this. I'm supposed to talk to her about what? Uh, um, <laughs> by the looks of it, it's your first day of training, isn't it? Oh, uh, you can tell? I must apologize. I wish you wouldn't be formal like that. Oh, but, 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 
uh, always address the patient with respect. Uh, it had been written on the general nursing theory textbook, and Miss O'Hara had drummed it into us as well. How should I answer her? I fidget. I'll find out on the next part, won't I? So, guys, we are going to talk to our sick girl pal on the next part of Nurse Love Addiction. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next sick girl.